Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're diving to Texas Chainsaw Master with an early uh, tier list for the victims. Now I have played for a little bit. I'm only level 13 as of right now. So I still have quite a bit of time to go. Um, but I've played a little bit around with the victims. Tried to test different things out. Um, but right now we have a kind of a raw uh, tier list. And we're going to kind of tweak it going forward. Uh, just to start off, um, I have been maining Julie. Um, I think she's a great victim, um, as she can get away from the cook and Johnny, which are two that I see every single time. Um, I'll, the Leatherface, Cook, Sissy, Johnny are pretty much the only ones I ever see. I hardly ever see Hitchhiker at all. Um, so being able to get away from the cook and Johnny, especially with Johnny being able to hit you so hard is a huge bonus so we're gonna go down from the bottom here at number four because i i'm kind of tied between leland and julian who's better um at the four spot we're just gonna put them both down there you know if you are communicating with your team leland can be pretty good for the simple fact that you can lead the, the family member back towards leland and then leland can stun them but on the other hand, Julie can pull some of this, uh, the, the family members away, such as the cook and Johnny, and then go through a wall, use her ability, and then get away that way so they can't find her. So now you just pulled another family member away. So now it's three against two instead of four on three. Um, now, I will say it's a pretty easy top-notch spot. But at number three, I put Anna. Reason being is that Sissy is so used right now. And her poison getting hit is so relevant. Um, Sissy hits you, you get stunned, and it's just a game over right then and there. So Anna being able to take less damage and get away from that poison is a huge bonus to any team. Just being able to stay alive for longer. Now Sunny at number 2... The reason that I have him up so high, I think he's an unsung hero. I don't really see a lot of people playing with him. Um, but what happens is that he can relay so much information to the rest of the team if you're communicating. If there's no communications, I can understand why you won't use him. But if you're playing with friends, you're playing with people who have mics and they're, and they're talking, Sunny is a great option, especially once you level up his ability all the way. He's able to tell which one's victim, which one is family member from his hearing ability or his sense of it ability. Um, and then be able to give you a ton of information on the map, allowing you to just rotate and go to certain spots and exits where there is nobody. Um, now, obviously, Ani is going to be number one. Her instant unlock on any of these exits is just insane i see a nerf coming to her in the future but right now she's by far leagues above everybody else if you get good with connie you're able to get through so much so fast especially in a coordinated group it's it's unbelievable so from top to bottom we have connie at number one sunny at number two and then anna and then we have a tie for fourth with Leland and Julie. I lean more towards Julie just based on the way that I play um, over Leland. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, if you guys have any different opinions, you guys have tested some, some different things out, uh, just let me know. But going forward, we will be tweaking this tier list a little bit. We're gonna put in a little bit more effort, a little bit more time into each character. Um, and just try to learn the ins and outs and just see uh, what we can accomplish there. 